And let's fucking go at you lot, bro. Today's a, today's a bad day, fam. You know what? I have to say, UFC 252 was one of the most depressing cards I've ever watched, fam. Seeing Sean O'Malley get beat and DC in one night, fam. Oh, my God. That was terrible, bro. And, okay, so if you lot didn't know, yeah, basically, Evander Holyfield and Sean O'Malley are beefing. Evander Holyfield said to Sean O'Malley that he hopes he gets knocked out and Sean O'Malley blocked him off his Twitch, yeah? But personally... <laughs> if, by the way, Evander Holyfield, you're a dickhead for that, first of all, yeah. But fam, this is why you don't beef with Evander. And I said it as well. I said, bro, if, if O'Malley gets knocked out, it's because he was beefing with Evander, fam, 100%. Without a doubt, fam. Well, that's still... Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Should I say what's funny, yeah? When I watched that fight, I was a fan of Cheeto Vero afterwards, innit? Cheeto seems like a G. I can't even lie to you, fam. The way his post-fight press conference as well, I was like, yeah, my fucking guy, fam. Yeah, but to be honest, ba Batsy, Cheeto didn't really win that. Although, yeah, although, if I'm being honest with you, when I saw, um... Uh... O'Malley kicking Cheeto in the legs... My initial thought was it, it does look like it's hurting Sean O'Malley more than it does look than it hurts Chito Vera when he's kicking him in the leg like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like I get he rolled over in his foot and it, whatever happened, but I think that was because he was slamming them leg kicks into Chito and Chito was checking them. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't just be slamming leg kicks like that, my guy. Yeah, Rose. Nah, the Rosen strike fight pissed me off as well because listen, if you actually watch that fight, JDS was. JDS was tagging up that boy in the first round, fam, and then it just all went wrong. It just all went wrong. Easy versus Costa. ATE asks, who have you got? Is Bro Adesanya or Paolo Costa? And do you know what, fam? I, I say this for like every fight, yeah, but I don't know who's going to win that. That fight for specifically is too hard to call, fam, because the way the styles match up, you would assume that as Adesanya would have the advantage because he, because he wants that. He wants somebody to come into him and try to like land shots where he, where he can just counter attack. But at the same time, bro, Paolo just got to hit that motherfucker once. But nah, listen, in it, fam. <laughs> DC, my guy. Do you know what? As soon as I saw DC walking out, yeah, my my initial thought was he looks hella fat, fam. He looks like he's has way too much weight on him, fam. And, and I think that was evident in the fight. In the fight, like you see the first two fights, DC was mad, like quick and fast. In this fight, he just seemed a much much slower than Stipe, fam. I think Stipe just made the right adjustments and Daniel didn't, fam. That's it. That's all it was, fam. Daniel just tried to make himself more fat so he could handle the body shot. Remember when he kept saying, I know how to counter it? That's what he meant, fam. He meant that he's just fat now, so it won't hurt him, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think he gassed out in that fight. I just think he was too slow, fam. He just looked too slow the entire fight. And obviously, he got hurt in the second round. And he, he took the third off to recover from that. He won the fourth, in my opinion. And it was all on that fifth round, realistically. And D, uh, Stipe just did more in that fifth round, fam. He just held him against the cage, my guy. It was very depressing for me. I'm not going to lie to you. It just looked like he gave up in there, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Do you know what, yeah, the thing is, it was, and, like, you can't even say DC didn't lose that fight, like, even as the biggest DC fan, I will never try to argue that fight, man, because he definitely lost that, my guy, he definitely lost, the fight around, he just, he, I don't know why he was so fat, fam, it, it's pissing me off, bro, my guy, bro, but as soon as I saw DC, yeah, as soon as I saw him, the first thing I said was, bro, this guy looks hella fat, fam, like, why is this, why does he look like that, fam? What the fuck are we? What are we playing at? Because you know what they at, in UFC posted something where it was like it showed the weight that DC was at for the first two fights and then Miocic and then what they were at for the third fight and like DC was he was never as heavy as he was in in this fight. Like why? Why would you make such a stupid decision, fam? You just couldn't stop eating. The quarantine got him. That way, this man needs to lose, fam. But I th personally, I think he would beat Stipe, especially if Stipe is the Stipe that fought DC. I think Jones would beat Stipe. I can't lie to you, fam. I, I don't I listen I, I don't I don't see see how Stipe beats him especially on the feet come on how's how's D, how's Stipe gonna beat John Jones on the feet I'm pretty sure John Jones is taller as well, well I, I hope AT fam I'm not gonna lie to you but personally listen I have no interest in seeing John Jones at heavyweight because in my eyes yeah he didn't defend his title the last two times in it fam he lost his last two fights Reyes and Thiago Santos. Man lost both of those fights. So I want to see him actually win a fight at light heavyweight without steroids in his system. And then maybe if he wins that, then okay, cool, move up to heavyweight. But rematch Reyes first, fam. Reyes deserves a rematch, undoubtedly. If fucking Holloway deserved a rematch against Volkanovski, yeah, uh, actually, no, wait, I'm looking at, at the wrong way. Give me a, a challenger getting a rematch. That, that barely ever happens. But personally, I do feel like um, Reyes should get that rematch because he definitely won that fight. Definitely. And Garner will knock him the fuck out. Possibly, I see that. I, I could see that happening. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. But I, in my opinion, as long as John Jones survives the first 
round, let's say, yeah, let's just say the first round is, is smooth sailing from there, fam. He's all good. He's just gonna pick away at Engano. Khabib, the goat, if he beats Gaethje in GSP, in opinion. Um, I, I don't understand why beating GSP would make him the goat if it's at light, lightweight. GSP has never fought at lightweight before, and he's flipping like 50 years old now, fam. I, I, I would think he would be, I think his legacy would be better. He would be more the goat if. Du so you do Dustin Poirier versus either Ferguson or Connor, and whoever wins that fight faces Khabib. And if he beats that person, so if he beats Fer um, Ferguson, Poirier for a second time, or McGregor for a second time, then he's the goat. It's a very bad fight. Like it's a, it's a bad matchup for Khabib, man. I'm telling you, you are underestimating Gaethje, fam. Real talk. I, I might look like a dickhead when this fight actually happens because he ragged Dustin Poirier, but you never know, fam.